Damn, boy. <laughs> Are you a bra? Because you make me uncomfortable. But society has brainwashed me to thinking I need you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna enjoy today's video, I think. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. Oh god, when does the wave happen? I don't remember. <laughs> and today we're diving into one of the videos that's been requested for for the longest time. It's called Witches vs. the Patriarchy. And it's kind of phenomenal. And if you don't believe me, watch the rest of this video. You better believe me, though. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Candles are how we keep fires as pets. This is unnecessarily adorable. Oh yeah, there's like a Pokemon that's a candle too. It is really cute. <laughs> I love this idea. <laughs> Me. Summons a demon, yes. Queen, yes, we're summoning a demon. Demon. For what purpose did you summon the great and terrible Vocule? Girls night? Come on, it's girls night. Oh. Yeah, girls night. <laughs> I mean, if you're summoned all the time to wreak havoc and chaos on thine enemies, then it must be nice to just have like a night off every once in a while, right? <laughs> and girls night, have you ever been out for those? So much fun. <laughs> the older I get, the more I side with the witches from fairy tales who moved out to the woods and killed someone who bothered them. Huh, oh, oh, oh. Is this adulthood? I relate to this way too hard. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Dorothy. Oh no, my house killed someone. Linda. That's okay, she sucked. Dorothy. Who are you? I'm a good witch. <laughs> uh, uh, are you sure? Yeah, now let's steal that dead shoes. <laughs> yes, that Oh, <laughs> uh, she was the f worst anyways. <laughs> I like going to the cemetery early in the morning because if you're calm and patient, the skeletons will approach and even eat right out of your hand. <laughs> Hello, important information. Bread is not part of a skeleton's natural diet and feeding it to them can make them sick. Instead, try coins from countries that no longer exist, dead batteries, ballpoint pens, or brass buckles. <laughs> These are much closer to what skeletons eat in the wild. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Do skeletons really eat metal things? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> if you aren't someone the church would have killed 400 years ago, are you even living? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the best way to live, actually. <laughs> what would my ancestors have been punished for? Ah, yes, let's do a whole bunch of that because it's fun and wonderful and everyone needs to be a lot less weird about it. <laughs> Woman! I also enjoyed the activity you mentioned. Man! I will now force you to prove this to me with some trivia questions! Name every! Name every! Do it, or else you're a fake, you're a phony! You're a fake fan! Name every! Do it! Bet you can't. <laughs> Welsh women used to curse people by falling to their knees, pulling out their boobies, and screaming obscenities at their victim. It's sad how we let traditions die. <sighs> people with uteri are never going to have a perfectly flat stomach. They're always going to have a little pouch. Because that's where we keep our bees. <laughs> what? Once a month, the moon angers the bees. <laughs> that reminds me of a post that I saw. Do you remember this one? Where she's covered in bees. <laughs> oh my gosh. In 1871, a woman from Quebec hired a hearse with the sole intention of riding around town, smoking in the coffin bed while enjoying the view. Are you serious? <laughs> a Quebec woman creates a sensation riding through St. John Street in a, in, a, in a recline in the coffin bed. It's, <laughs> oh, women of history are wild. <laughs> Plants, but outside. Mmm, concrete. Cozy. Plants, but inside. Is this 
tap water? I'm allergic. <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> I have an amazing fern that I've never watered. For, well, I have watered it, but maybe not for like three, three, four, four years, something like that. It, ju it just lives in water. It's got a bunch of water. It's growing in it. I've never bothered it. The plant does its own thing. It's my roommate now. <laughs> and I've never interrupted whatever it gets up to. That's just... That's how we live. <laughs> My wife and I never baby talk to our kids. We use full sentences and a wide vocabulary. My daughter is four and can carry a conversation. Adults are shocked at her social aptitude. My second daughter isn't even two and she uses four syllable words. Which is impressive because they're both cats. Well, dang, that was unexpected. <laughs> Feminism encourages women to leave their husbands, practice witchcraft, destroy capitalism, and become lesbians. I am struggling to see a downside. <laughs> Live your life in such a way that your heirs sort through your possessions whispering, Oh my god, what, what the f***? What, what the f***? What is this sh <laughs> If you don't have a secretly locked chest with a whole bunch of assorted very scary knickknacks, go out there, go to your local thrift store, get a black little lockbox, and just put a bunch of secret things in there and never open it again with no explanation. You can even leave a note that says instructions on how to find what was buried. Also, don't actually bury anything. Who will be able to solve this mystery? No one. It will be the family mystery passed down for generations and generations. What the fudge did Aunt Dorothy bury? What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who was upset that the LGBTQ people stole the rainbow. Rain itself is next, soon to be followed by the sun. The moon is already a lesbian. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Therapist! Over the phone. How have you been coping? Me! Quietly carving tiny swords to help the squirrels in their war against the birds. Oh, you know, <laughs> just keeping busy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, are you part of the forces of good in Redwall? That's awesome. <laughs> what others call a rebellious phase, I call the sudden realization I don't deserve to be treated like garbage. Oh, it has been said! <laughs> the amount of truth in this post, holy dang. Fall is almost here, and if you think I'm going to be wearing sweaters and sipping cocoa and digging up bones and dancing with the pumpkins and accidentally resurrecting a trio of old witches, you're completely right. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> Do you remember Hocus Pocus? <laughs> what a good movie. Oh, I can't wait for Halloween to come around and I can watch it again. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> ha, 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 Am I beautiful? <laughs> I guess it's all relative. Are there uglier birds? Sure. Are there prettier birds? Hell no! <laughs> Yay! Confidence! <laughs> hey girl! <laughs> Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Actually, I crawled up from hell! I had to dig through layers of haunted rotting souls through the insidious screams of demons. Clawing my way out of eternal darkness. <laughs> I was talking to Click about this last night, actually. War and Peace have literally the best comics. I love them so much. <laughs> I would love to see more women in STEM. Sorcery, temptation, evil, and mischief. Dang, is that the STEM that I could have studied? This sounds way better. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Please enjoy this picture of a dog trained to scatter seeds to help restore a forest damaged by fire. Aww. No matter how much job satisfaction you think you have, you are not a dog whose job is run madly around this forest. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's true. <laughs> as much as I enjoy making these videos in a heartbeat, I would trade positions with that dog, at least for a day. <laughs> Toddler accidentally cursed himself into an identity crisis today. He's been crossing stuff out with chalk. He asked me to raise name for him, crossed it out, and then had a panicked meltdown because he thought it meant he didn't exist anymore. Every hour or so, he asked me, Am I 
am I still me? And wants reassuring hugs. Aww. <laughs> I'm enjoying the implication that he was perfectly delighted with arbitrarily erasing things from his existence until it affected him personally. Aww. Kids are still developing object permanence. Come on, you can't... <laughs> he, does, he doesn't know that he's still gonna exist. Aww. Roses are red. Candles are lit. Do no harm. But take no s***. Look, human. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, I think probably whoever made this is called Look Human, but I like to think that this is part of the instructions. It's just like, <laughs> do no harm, take no guff, but also do your best. Look human. <laughs> Man, in the 1600s, women who could do math. Black cats are wonderful because you can stare into the void, and not only does the void stare back, sometimes it trots up to you and happily begs for pets. <laughs> the void is loud and wants chicken. <laughs> Why is everyone so sad lately? Probably because of the moon. No, it's capitalism. <laughs> Randomly materializes out of a murder of crows with a slurpee in my hand. Hey guys, what's up? 40 bats coalescing into an approximate human form, holding a Gatorade. Huh, not much, how about you? Five wolves make their presence known with a piercing howl! Before joining in a circle, they clutter together and take the form of a human with a nice latte. Stop. <laughs> uh, emerges from the back exit of Dairy Queen to take out the garbage. Uh, uh, I'm lost and you aren't allowed to hang out back here, okay? Uh. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. <laughs> I've also been on both sides of that fence. I have both been the person behind the Dairy Queen and the person coming out of the Dairy Queen. The difference is I didn't pass along that message like that. I said, hey, y'all aren't allowed to hang back here. So like, you know, have fun. I'm going to go back inside and tell my boss I told you to go away. <laughs> In 1954, Betty White was criticized after having Arthur Duncan, a black tap dancer, on her show. White said, I'm sorry, live with it, and, gave, and she gave Duncan even more airtime. Her show was canceled soon after. <laughs> what can I say? I'm one bad bitch. <laughs> I love Betty White. When I was a kid, I was a very small, tiny lad person. The first film I had seen Betty White in was Lake Placid, <laughs> and I knew even back then. Betty White's someone you don't mess with. <laughs> may your soul be overgrown with moss. May your veins fill with rainwater and your lungs swell with flowers. Is this a curse or a blessing? Either way, lay it on me, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Give me the peep, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in a mossy knoll and drift away. <laughs> if you're looking for my opinion on Elf on a Shelf, no. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. That was our dive in r slash witches versus the patriarchy. Please tell me you like this subreddit so I can go back to it again in the future because I really enjoyed this. <laughs> I had so much fun with this. I wasn't sure what we jump into when we started this, but I'm so glad we did. Thank you to everyone who's been bugging me for literally two years to cover this subreddit. <laughs> I'm working my way through an old list of recommended subreddits, and I'm so glad we got into this one. <laughs> All right, my bitters and weirdos. Let me know if you like this video, please, and comments, and I. you could even subscribe if you so felt like it. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Oh, I also have a second channel and I stream on Twitch. Okay, bye! I believe Shal. Shal's just chilling there. <laughs> <laughs>